Inflation refers to a state of rising price and not to the state of high price. Every rise in price level is not called inflation. It is the rise in price at a fast rate which is called inflation. One time rise in price level does not mean inflation. It is the persistent rise in the price level which is called inflation. Moreover, a rise in the price level for a short period of time, say 6 months or a year, is not regarded as inflation. Only when price increases continuously over a long period of time that it is treated as inflation. Professor Crowther has defined inflation as a state in which the value of money is falling because prices are rising. His definition emphasizes on the rise in price level as a symptom rather than cause of inflation. However, this definition fails to explain why the price level increases from time to time. According to Professor Kemmerer, inflation means too much currency in relation to the physical volume of business being done. This definition involves a comparison between the two things the supply of currency on one side and supply of physical goods and services on the other side the above definition establishes cause and effect relationship between supply and money and the price level an increase in supply of money is the cause and rise in price level is its effect types of inflation there are various types of inflation such as creeping inflation walking or trotting inflation running inflation hyper or galloping inflation open inflation suppressed inflation creeping inflation this type of inflation is also known as mild inflation or moderate inflation creeping inflation occurs when the price level persistently rises over a period of time at a mild rate when the rate of inflation is 2 to 3% annually walking or trotting inflation when the price rise is moderate in the range of 3% to 6% it is called walking inflation it is a warning signal for the government to control it before it turns into running inflation running inflation it refers to the situation where the price level rises very fast that is 8% to 10% per annum it normally shows two digit inflation running inflation is also a warning signal indicating the need to control it it affects the poor and the middle class people adversely it is generally succeeded by galloping inflation hyper or galloping inflation inflation in the double or triple digit range of 20 100 or 200% a year is called galloping inflation in 1970s and 80s many latin american countries such as Argentina Brazil had inflation rates of 50 to 700% per year open inflation when the government does not try to prevent a rise in prices inflation is called as an open inflation suppressed inflation suppressed inflation refers to a situation when there exists inflationary pressures in the economy but prices are controlled by certain administrative measures such as price control and rationing